What up boys, it's Daily here, back with some more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2, and today we have 6 million zombies fighting against a mere 10,000 modern soldiers. And we're going to continue to increase the modern soldiers' numbers and weaponry until they manage to win against 6 million zombies. But maybe they'll do it in the first try. You never know. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to hit that like button. Let's try and get 1,000 likes in the first 24 hours, maybe. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more. Let's get into it. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So, Thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then boys, pressing start right now and let's check out how this ends up going. So, we've got the zombies yeeting on forward right here, going full charge, full tilt into the enemy. Now, these guys are on guard mode, which means that they will move around as they see fit on the battlefield. So, what I think could potentially happen, this is my theory, is that they will continuously back up until they get on top of that mountain, and then they'll have a really good firing position. At least I hope that's what what happens i don't know they could also just get surrounded by the zombies and cut off from the retreat and then get swallowed alive that is also very much so a real possibility that we're gonna have to prepare for either way right now they're firing away they're not moving at all they're just chilling and uh, getting some easy zombie kills and claps as we speak look at this they're just mowing them down they're already up to almost 10,000 kills that's pretty darn impressive if you were to ask me uh, but it's not gonna quite do it they need a lot more kills than that and the zombies are getting awfully close to them which makes me a wee bit nervous if they do start taking some bites out of these guys we could have a problem but there we go these guys now start to scatter a little bit which means that they are going to back up that is really good for us if they back up all the way to that mountain they will be Gucci that's what we want to see in this battle. Look at this. Yeah, they're spreading out. They're sort of being influenced by the, uh, you know, tug of the zombies, which is good. Zombies are looking, it looks like, to try and surround them. Do a little bit of a pincer movement going on from both sides here. Uh, so as long as the modern soldiers don't fall for that and end up getting trapped, they should be all right. But you can see at this bird's eye view that that is exactly what the zombies are doing. Look at this. Yeah, they're reaching farther and farther around with more and more strands of zombies sort of coming at them from angles. Watch out, boys. Watch out, boys. Watch out, boys. Oh, my lord. Yeah, back it up. Back it up, Tear. Back it up. Those guys might end up getting eaten right there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you guys need to start backing it up big time. Start moving towards the mountains. Start shifting away. But it seems like they are not doing that super well. Instead, they're sort of letting themselves get surrounded here, which is not good. There's a few outliers in the back here that are backing up pretty decently. Uh, but the rest in the middle, the big chunk here, seems to be really stuck in this one position, which is not especially helpful. Um, we do have one dead modern soldier. That's not a lot, <laughs> but we do have 82,000 dead zombies going on right now. That is pretty good. Three dead soldiers now, okay, and that number is going to only increase as the zombies do manage to make that connection up front here and start mowing them down. Well, mowing them down, not exactly accurate. Uh, more or less just sort of... Uh, eating a few of them here and there. <laughs> That's what we're looking at. Ooh, even these guys in the way, way back are starting to get surrounded by more strands of zombies coming out. That is no bueno. We do not like to see. Not very good. No sorry, bub. Um, 29 dead modern soldiers now and about 125,000 dead zombies. That's pretty decent. Again, though, the modern soldiers letting themselves get more and more surrounded here. Oh, look over here, look over here. Big breakthrough of zombies that are going to be coming in, swooshing on in here. 
Oh, uh, yeah, this is going to end in disaster for the modern soldiers. I don't think they played this correctly. I don't think they managed to back up properly. Um, and now they're going to pay the price, the, the ultimate price. They did make a very, very long rectangle of defense here, which is kind of funny to see. Oh, my God, look at all those zombies shifting all the way back here. This guy here has almost made it to town. He's almost made it to the city. Good for him. <laughs> Way to go. Uh, but yeah, the rest of them are getting choked out right now. Why don't we go ahead and do a time lapse of these guys getting eaten by zombies. They've got 175,000 kills. 375 of them are dead. But those numbers are just going to go up and up and up and up. So why don't we go ahead and uh, let them do this thing. And then we're going to buff these guys. Make them bigger, better than ever. And it'll be pretty awesome. So let's do it. Alright boys, so next up we do have 30,000 modern soldiers in a row here. I was wondering if maybe we added two more rows, then some of these rows wouldn't have to focus so much on the flankers, but would rather be able to backpedal like I was hoping they would do in the last one. We'll see if that works. If it doesn't, we're definitely going to give them some tanks and, and maybe some artillery and stuff like that uh, which I think would be really cool I don't want to just place them in the back in the mountain area because I think that would be a little bit more boring I, I'd much rather sort of see them in an open field and see how they survive and to see if they can adapt to the climate and back up on their own I think that's more the concept of this video because I could just put them back on the mountain and that'd be cool maybe maybe if all else fails nothing works I'll just shove them on the mountain you know I'll do it myself just like Thanos my uh, <laughs> my inspiration for life Thanos <laughs> uh, but for now I just want to see if they could do it on their own or at least find a way to which would be pretty cool um, if the exact same thing happens as the last battle we're probably looking at about a million kills based on the last battles outcome maybe that'll happen Maybe not, not entirely sure, uh, but you know, hopefully they do pretty well. We are seeing them sort of scatter once again as the zombies get closer and closer, and that should be happening pretty much on every single one of these, although these guys are staying pretty, pretty tight-knit. I think I put everyone on guard mode. Did I forget to put these guys on guard mode? We'll find out. These guys might not be on guard mode, which would be a big oopsie. But these two for sure are because they are backpedaling a little bit. They're, they're getting back there. They're, they're one, two stepping. Um, but the zombies, man, they just love their pincer movements. They, do, they love to swarm. They love to come around. Look at this. Zero deaths for the modern soldiers. Oh, that just changed to one. Oh, no. Uh, but 150,000 dead zombies. Very impressive stuff. Oh, either way, guys, I wanted to mention a few things about the other channels um, and this channel. Uh, this channel, Daily Tactics, lots of people have been asking me, will I be playing Star Wars Jedi Survivor when it comes out? Definitely will be. Uh, day one, playing some Jedi Survivor on this channel. Might stream it, not entirely sure, but for sure, there is at the very least going to be videos on it, so... Yep, going to be doing that. Uh, on top of that, Professor Daily has a new video out on it. Uh, this is my channel where I'm just talking history stuff. It's really more of a hobby of mine, uh, but it's going to be a World War II iceberg video um, where we go in depth on the most known to the least known stuff about World War II. Uh, it's pretty fun. It's a cool video. Lots of small facts in there and stuff like that. Pretty entertaining in my opinion. So. You can go check that out if you want. Also on Daily Bricks, brand new video. We just hit 100k subs. Thank you guys so much for that. You are all legends. And Daily Productions, as usual, getting up to shenanigans over there. Uh, either way, it does look like these guys were, in fact, on guard mode over here, which is perfect. Uh, we like to see that. Um, but no one's really backpedaling too far backwards. Uh, we are seeing a little backpedaling. Uh, but for the most part, it's chill. What I do like to see, though, is that these zombies that are trying to come in between the lines, they're getting chopped down from both directions, which is really promising. The fact that there's crossfire going on from two different directions mean there's, means they're going to be more accurate and more deadly with that crossfire. That's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, so I'm stoked to see that. I think that is fantastic. Uh, but on the flanks, they are getting very, very surrounded. So that is not something we like to see as much. 
It does seem like these guys are going to fall into the same trap we saw in the very last battle, except for on a wider scale. It looks like the zombies are just going to encapsulate them along a larger perimeter, um, but it's going to be the exact same ending as last time, it seems. So that's a bit of a bummer. Hate to see it. Definitely does suck a little bit, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Why don't we go ahead and run another time lapse here? Watch them get encircled. Look at the, look at this small pack of zombies. Where did you guys come from? What? They just been chasing this one guy down the whole time. This poor guy. He's getting bit up. That sucks. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is going to be another L. So why don't we go ahead and watch this unfold? We can check out the losses, uh, and, and then we'll we'll go ahead and revamp again. And try again. Okay, the Zombers have won yet again, but this time, 2.2 million kills is really not bad. Look at this, like, arena they've created from their deaths. That's incredible. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's readjust here. Okay, boys, so we've got the same 6 million zombies, but this time, we've positioned these guys closer to the mountain so they can back up right into it. We've also given them 10 Shermans and 10 artillery units up here. They're actually just flat guns uh, on top of the hill to fire down. We've also got another 10k soldiers over here in this town, and another 10k soldiers way over here in this town. So, there's a lot more coverage on this battlefield, as well as some heavy weaponry. There's the uh, flat guns firing out right there. AA guns so powerful they'll wipe out 100 zombies in a single shot. Maybe even more, actually, which is pretty freaking sick. Uh, over here, we do have the first town firing out right here. And hopefully they can get a large number of kills. I have a feeling this town will probably die out. I'm hoping this little position right here will back up the mountain uh, if they need to. And then this town right here might also do the same. And I think that'll be pretty cool. It's also pretty cool that we do have some positions up top on these... Uh, 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 why am I forgetting? Oh, houses. How did I forget the word houses? Oh, that's just sad. Um, but yeah, up top on those houses, they're also going to be firing down here at the zombies, hopefully acquiring a few more kills for the boys, uh, which could be very, very helpful just in the long term. So yeah, I think this is going to be the best chance we've got at defeating these guys without going like too overboard on giving reinforcements. The whole point of the video is sort of to not give the modern soldiers like crazy reinforcements or anything like that, but to rather try and give them just enough to get the battle done. So they still only have about 30,000 soldiers at the start of this battle. That is not a lot versus 6 million zombies, but it's about positioning, it's about uh, giving them heavier weapons as well, uh, and giving them the ability to retreat and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, I, I think it could be pretty good. I think it could be pretty good. Um, either way, yeah, this position is getting run over pretty quickly. Some of them are evacuing backwards, which is good to see for sure. Uh, and hopefully some of them will stay here and fight tooth and nail to the death uh, to try and buy the guys that are backing up towards the hill a little bit more time. These flat guns just continuously firing out, which is awesome. You know, they're probably getting like a thousand or so kills every every few seconds, just based on the fact that each one of these gets a few hundred kills with every shot, uh, which, you know, doesn't sound like a ton of kills when, when you're fighting six million, but it will help. It will weaken the enemy. It will soften them uh, and make the job for the infantry a little bit easier going forward. So I'm I'm pretty happy about that. Look at these guys over here all fighting it out in this little town area. Um, and the zombies are slowly encircling them. So hopefully they do back out, but I'm not seeing them doing that very much. This blockade over here seems to be doing the best currently. Are those Shermans firing out, by the way? Um, very hard to tell. I don't think they are. Maybe the zombies are a little too far away? Not entirely sure. Oh, look at this. Yeah, these guys are slowly getting encircled over at this town over here, uh, which is not very good, and not a lot of them managed to back up super far, but hopefully those guys in that blockade over there will help some of these guys survive a little bit going forward. Why don't we go ahead and roll our first time lapse, but I'm not going to time lapse till the end here. We're going to come back during mid-time lapse to see how they're doing. 
Okay, so a, sh a short time lapse there. These guys have been completely encapsulated by zombies. I doubt they're going to be able to break out of that. They'll probably just die, but hopefully they can get some kills. Over here, the Sherman boys are getting encircled a little bit. They are backing up a little bit up there. I was hoping for more, though. I don't know. I feel like in, in past videos that we've done, the modern soldiers have backed up pretty far, you know? But... In these instances, they're not really doing that. They're just sort of sticking to the same positions, uh, which makes me a little bit worried for the longevity of their stay on this battlefield, but I, I guess we'll just kind of have to see. Uh, maybe they can manage to, to back up later on, hopefully. I'm not totally sure. Um, either way, I think this is probably going to be the most interesting area to do a time lapse of, so let's go ahead and do this real quick. Fellas, this is not looking good for us. No siree. The flat guns all got destroyed by flanking zombies. These guys are completely surrounded. And these guys are completely surrounded. Um, we're going to just let this play out. And then we're going to try one more time. And we're actually just going to put the guys on the hill. See if that helps. So, yeah. This is a rip. Alright, boys. The battle's pretty much over. And we've just got a few guys stuck up here that are going to take forever to kill. Only 2 million kills this time. What the heck? It, it went down. Let's go... Toss them on the hill and see how this helps. All right, boys. We have increased the number of armaments for these boys. So now they have more cannons uh, and better positioning as well. I gave them the same amount of Shermans, though. Um, but yeah, the soldiers are all over the mountain now. They've also got, uh, yeah, like 30 cannons instead of the 10 we gave before. And hopefully this positioning creates some choke points and they can work together and stuff like that to obtain an actual victory here. Either way, the cannons are going to start us off here by just shelling a whole bunch. And look at that, we're already up to 18, 19, 20,000 kills just from the shelling of the cannons. No other soldiers have fired just yet. So that's that's pretty incredible thus far. And here we go. The zombies are just now starting to get to them and the uh, humans already have 64,000 kills. That's pretty decent right there. Uh, zombies are going to come up this hillside here, which as we know from previous battles, can be extremely hard to charge the mount right there, so that's going to be good. And then it looks like the humans are actually coming down the hill a little bit. A little, a little cocky of them there. Um, and it looks like we are going to get some zombies flanking up the top over this way too. Uh, but luckily we do have more positions up here as well. Uh, so that probably won't work super well for them, but it will be interesting to see for sure. One human death and almost 100,000 dead zombies already. Beautiful! Let's do another time lapse. Okay, we're already up to half a million kills with only 400 dead modern soldiers. So this is already working out pretty dang well for us here, which is B-E-A beautiful. We love to see that. This side is just totally on lockdown, which is fantastic. Over here, the zombies are getting up here a little bit, but it's not too bad. Uh, these modern soldiers have come down the hill over this way uh, and are now firing downward, preventing the zombies from getting up the hill, which I think is pretty cool. Why don't we do like a, a very big overview time lapse of this whole area right here? That might be pretty neat. Alright boys, we're already at 1.5 million kills for the modern soldiers, so clearly they're doing a lot better here this time around, which is BEA beautiful, and only 1600 deaths for them. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit, and we're just going to see what happens, and we'll be back. Alright boys, it's been actually like an hour here, and it looks like we have 5.5 million dead zombies. That leaves 200,000 left alive, and 7,500 dead modern soldiers. So the modern soldiers did take a beating. But at the same time, they totally dominated the game. So, this is a dub for the Modern Soldiers. They, they're taking home the dub. The big old W. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and do a little time lapse of the last remaining zombies, but this is looking like it. Alright boys, there's supposedly 27 more zombies stuck somewhere. I have no idea where they are. Um, but yeah, that's game. This was pretty exciting. I really enjoyed this. We finally got a victory for the boys here, but uh, it took us quite some time. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you have any comment down below. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. 
thanks so much.